see how it works. Tasha and Mimi, can you guys see my screen that I'm sharing tonight? Ladies of the Nine, welcome tonight to our second virtual Bible study on tonight. I'm so excited that you are here. Listen, we are Facebook Live tonight, and we are also on Zoom, so I got a couple ladies. I'm going to have to go back and forth a little bit here, but we're going to make this work tonight. We want to make sure everybody had an opportunity to join in some form on tonight. Um, if you give us just a second, we're going to get ready to go into our uh, prayer uh, as we begin our Bible study on tonight. I ask that you bow your heads right now. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity to join together tonight, um, for providing those resources so that we can uh, be able to come together to study your word once again, God. I ask that you cover each person that is on our Facebook Live, that is on our Zoom, and that is on our prayer call, Lord. I ask you continue to bless them, Lord. Continue to bless our Ninth Street Church family, Lord. Now, Lord, on tonight, whatever it is that you would have us to receive, I pray that the ladies are able to have open hearts and open minds to receive it, to digest it, and to believe it so they can go out and share it in your world. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. How are you guys doing on tonight? Hi, Sister Lori. So tonight we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Sister Mimi. How are you doing? Hi, ladies out there on Facebook Live. Uh, again, once again, we are going to go ahead and get started with our Bible study for tonight. And uh, tonight we're going to be going back and we're going to be studying the, the children of Israel once again. I know last week we talked about them and finding rest in God's ability. But on tonight, the word that kept coming to me on last week was release or exit. So on tonight, we're going to be talking about exit, an exit opportunity, okay? And um, when I thought about this, I thought about at the beginning of the year, everybody was saying 2020 is my year. We set these goals and these declarations and we had clear vision and we were like, okay, so this is going to be the year of clarity. Everything is going to come through. And we noticed that in January, 
we had we started seeing a lot of uh, different issues happening in our world, right? We had the issue between U.S. and Iran. Uh, there was all this rain. Uh, corona was finally confirmed by China in February. Same thing going on, and here comes March, and now we're at a shutdown, right? Everybody is still. And the, the second word that came to me was the word wait. And I want to give you a quick story about this. You'll know what I mean when I say the word wait. So uh, before Chloe was born, um, me and the pastor, we had an opportunity to travel a lot. So um, we had the freedom to do whatever it was we wanted to do. So oftentimes we would take a flight somewhere. And when we went on this particular trip, we got to the counter and they said, Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Carter, would you like to check in your bags? And we said, of course we do. We want to check in our bags, right? And you know there's a weight limit, right, when you get to the when you get to the airport to check in your bags, right? So we put our bags up there, and the weight limit is 50. And it says 57 pounds, right? And they said, well, there's some, a few items you're going to have to take out. Or if you decide that you don't want to take those items out, you can pay the fee of $100. A hundred dollars. That's a heavy fee for just seven pounds, right? I see Sister Lori laughing. You know, because you probably have been there before. Where you say, you know what? I don't know if I want to pay this. So you start thinking about the things that are in your bag, right? And we start, we open up our bags. We're like, we don't want to pay a hundred dollars. Not just to get our bag there. So we open up our bag and we had, to de we had to decide, okay? Remember that. We had to decide what it was that we were going to take with us. And what it was that we were not going to take with us. So we started stuffing some things in my purse and his backpack. And we put it on there. And it's still a little bit overweight. Right? And uh, she says, well, she's still not even showing us any grace or anything. She's still like, you know what? It's still going to be $100. So we said, you know what? We went through this stuff again. You know what? Just get rid of it. We don't even need it anyway. We can either replace it or find something better. And I tell you that because the word weight in this situation is, what are you carrying right now in this moment of stillness, in this moment of opportunity that you don't need to be carrying? And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, exit opportunities. Because when I thought about the bag, the bag reminded me that either I could carry that weight with me to my next destination and it might not even make it because we already know that on some flights if the bags are too heavy they're going to stay right where they are or i can pay a heavy price to try to carry that to my next destination so tonight we're going to talk about exiting out those things and i thought about with the word exit a lot of times we exit a lot of places right we exit our cars we exit different doors um we exit uh, jobs we exit all kinds of opportunities, right? And we're going to look at that on tonight. So I want you to take a moment and turn to Exodus 13. And uh, we're going to look at verse 17 and 18. Okay? And we're going to be reading from the New Living Translation on tonight. And I'll start here with verse 17. It says, When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country though that was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So we're going to start at the very beginning of this. He did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. So our first point on tonight is, um, oftentimes that exit opportunities, um, there are always opportunities after an exit. Okay, and I say that because God dis determined if you, everybody knows the story of the, the children of Israel, they lived, they were in Egypt, they were slaves, they were held in bondage, and they were in this cycle of being fruitless, always working, but there was no fruit being produced. So God says, I need to let my people go. I need to free them. And so he sent them an opportunity by Moses, a deliverer. Okay, and so in that opportunity, he led them across the Red Sea. And it was, this was their opportunity to actually, actually go into another season. He also made them a promise that in this promise, we were going to be, be taken to a land that was filled with milk, milk and honey. And like present day, there'll be anything that we needed. The provision would be there. And so there's this opportunity here and they don't actually take advantage of it. 
And when I say opportunity, again, be mindful that a lot of times we have opportunities right after we exit something. And I'll give you an analogy of that too. Um, if you're married or if you dated, it doesn't matter, been in a relationship, a lot of times we, um, sometimes we have been in a few arguments with some people, with our significant other in the car, maybe on our way to a party or to a store, wherever it was. And in that moment, we're going back and forth. But when, as soon as we get out the car, we have an opportunity to either uh, reset, restart this whole situation, or keep it going, right? And a lot of times what I know I have been guilty of is that I can I can argue with you and once we get to our destination, I'm like, okay, nothing, it's like nothing ever happened while we're in front of others. But once I leave there, the argument may start up again. But there are times where you can actually reset that situation and say, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity right here to reset and to restart and just say, you know what, it's not even worth going into another situation or arguing about this later. So let's just go ahead and, and forgive each other right now. And that's what the, the Israelites had on tonight. They had an, an opportunity to exit, to X some things out. And so God took them the long way. He said, I'm going to take you through the wilderness instead of taking the shorter route. And we know that oftentimes um, how you exit a season is how you enter a season. And when I say that, I, when they exited uh, Egypt to go into the promised land, they were still complaining. They were still complaining. Complaining about not having enough food, not having enough water, or anything like that. And we have to be mindful of how we exit one season. It's what may be the same way we enter another season. Because oftentimes what happens to us is that we put ourselves in some dangerous places when all we want to hear about is what God is going to do. And we're not listening to what he is requiring us to do. And in this season, he was requiring them to take a moment to reflect and say, you know what? There's some things I cannot carry to the promised land because I won't be able to actually contain or be able to enjoy what God has promised me if I'm still carrying this weight. And so tonight I want to ask I want to ask you to think about what are the things that I'm still carrying that I cannot carry into the next season. And maybe that's your attitude. Just think about it. Maybe it's your attitude. Sometimes some of us are a little bit pessimistic, you know. Um, also toxic relationships, um, sickness, that failure, um, some other things. We some of us have we like to start, but we never finish. Uh, comparison. All these things are weights that we cannot carry into our next season. Those who are on Zoom with me are, are able to see my screen, but I'm not sure about Facebook Live, but we'll make sure that we post the PowerPoint for you. But it shows a guy who's trying to enter in to 2020, actually, and he has all these bags on his shoulder. He has pain, he has mistakes, sins, bitterness, unforgiveness, pride, toxic, uh, doing people wrong. And he's trying to get through, but it's hard because he's trying to carry all this weight with him. And when I thought about in the season of being still right now, although God wants us to rest in his ability, he has something that he has promised us after this season, but we're not going to be able to make it to that promise if we're still carrying the same weight that we entered in to 2020 with. Because a lot of what we did for a lot of us is in 2019 with our own control, we, we went through 2019 with all this baggage. We entered into 2020 with the same baggage. And God says in this season, if you would just let it go and not have, not try to be in your own control and your own ability and allow me to have control, then the promise is going to be right there on the, on the other side of this, this season. Sometimes exit opportunities can feel like a wilderness. Now, God did say that I was, I'm going to take you the longer way because I wanted to take them the longer route so that they could... Take a moment in this opportunity to determine what it was they needed to remove, to release, so they can make it to the promised land. Because again, they cannot carry any of this weight with them into the promised land. 
And I want to remind you on tonight that the wilderness oftentimes may feel like punishment, but it's not. It's just a place of purity. Because what God wants to remove from you and to reveal through you, he can't do it unless he has you in your purest form. So God doesn't want to take away all the extra that's in this season. He, what he wants to do is just remove those things that are not like him. All those things that are holding you back so that you can make it into the promise. And he's taking you through this exit opportunity so you can give him full control. Again, he wants to reveal some things, but he can't until you release. Now, I looked at the definition of release, okay? And it says it's to allow or enable to escape from confinement or set free. And allow in itself means something to move, act, or flow freely. And what I love about God is that he gives us free will. He gives us the opportunity to make our own choices. Right. There's a decision that we have to make. And if we decide that we're going to remove those things ourselves, we're going to release those things, then we can allow him to come in and take full control so that we can move into our next season. So ask yourself on tonight, what cannot go into this next season? And when I talk about exit, I'm not talking about just walking through one door and into another. I'm talking about actually taking a moment to reflect and to think about those things that you have, that, that are a part of your life that you need to put an X on. Again, some of those things may be toxic relationships, even poverty. Some of us have great jobs, making great money, but we still have a poverty mindset. Even that has to be removed. Sickness, removed. Failure, remove it. Depression, remove it. Disobedience, remove it. Un the feeling of unworthiness, that's still another bag that you're carrying. We need you to remove it. God needs you to release it. Regret, pride, and heartbreak. Because some, what we need to be, again, mindful of is in that wilderness experience, while we're thinking it's, it's punishment, and that may be even very well right now in quarantine. And I can, I can only ask those who are on Zoom tonight. Like, how do you feel being in quarantine right now? Does it feel like a wilderness experience to you? I can't hear you. I think that Sister Lorianne is telling me possibly. But it can feel like that. I know I've had days so far where I feel like, man, this is going way too long. When are we going to get out of this? But I had to change my perspective because, again, if you were on the call last night, our, our counselor made a great point. We have to start thinking positive and change our perspective. I know that I've been making a couple phone calls since last Wednesday, I believe, to some of you guys. And the first one of the questions I ask you on the call, and I'm still making my rounds, is will your perspective change after being in this experience? Because right now, technically, what we are going through may feel like a wilderness experience to some people. And they're like, well, how long am I going to be in this exit opportunity? Well, God said to the children of Israel, it was only supposed to be 11 days. It was only supposed to be 11 days. For some of us, it, our opportunity may have just been 11 minutes, 11 months, 11 weeks. But it's all, it's all about what you're trying to remove. And if you're willing to be obedient to what he's requiring you to do in this season. And part of that is changing your perspective and making a decision to remove or to release those things. Now, again, this may be feeling like a wilderness experience right now. And I just want you to understand that a wilderness experience, again, is not a place of punishment, but it's a place of purity. This is our opportunity to reset, start something new, and let some things go. We have to embrace the exit opportunity. And embracing that exit before we really enter in the rest of 2020, we have to ask God, will you please refine whatever is in me that is not supposed to go to the next season so I can make sure that you have the opportunity to release those things so that I can be prepared for the next season. If not, we end up with the same results as the children of Israel. And we already remember how that happened. They didn't make it to the promised land. 
Instead, in that wilderness, people um, had children, they raised families, and they died there. And we don't want to do that spiritually in that season where we're not willing to be obedient to what God has required us to do, where we just died there. So I'm asking you again tonight, what weight do you need to remove so that you can go into your next season of promise? And I want you to think about that, reflect on it, because this whole season that we're in right now is a season of reflection, is a season for us to release and let some things go. So what bags are you carrying on tonight that need to be removed, that need to be released? I lost my PowerPoint. So let's go back to our scripture again. And it says here in Exodus 13 and 17, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. Again, he took them the long way. And sometimes we're asking God to take us the short route, but in the short route, we end up still carrying the same things that should have been left behind. Because again, we can't contain what God has wants to provide for us, still carrying the same weight. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. Taking the shorter route sometimes means that I can get there fast, but I still have the same mentality. I still have the same perspective. And all I'm going to, every, everything I look at, everything I try to accomplish, everything I try to conquer is still going to remind me of Egypt. I'm still going to be in the place of Egypt. So God says, I have to take you the long way. I can't take you the short way. So on tonight, we have to, again, write those things down. That's what I challenge you on tonight is to write those things down that you are carrying in this season that you will not be able to take into the next promise. I want to share something with you really quick. Sorry. Hey, you guys, be patient with me because y'all know, know that I am new to Facebook Live and to Zoom, right? So on tonight, I want to share with you this post that was made on today that was sent to me that reminded me of the experience that we're going through right now. And actually, it was sent to uh, by one of our members on today. And the post said, there are times I want to escape, but then I realize that I'm still not prepared for what's next. This is our season of, pre of preparation. And like I told you before, in this season right now, there are going to be times where we want to escape. Like, I, I feel like that sometimes right now in this season of quarantine where I want to escape. But God has us still for a reason because we're not prepared for what he has promised us on next. And I, was, I had this discussion with Pastor Carter on today that in this season, there's something that's being revealed to us. There is a challenge that has been placed there for us as a church, as members of the body of Christ worldwide. You know, we were trying to do ministry our way in and, and, um, and the format we thought it should be just within the four walls. But now the challenge is that for us to expand the kingdom, but we won't be able to expand the kingdom if we're still carrying weight trying to go into the next season. Do you guys understand how many people out there still do not know who God is right now? When we look at our, our Facebook and all other social media platforms, there are so many people that are still crying out and they're carrying the same weights and even more. And they don't even have a relationship with God. And since we've been using this platform of using Facebook Live, doing our virtual worship, our virtual Bible studies, and utilizing Zoom, and all the resources available to us, we've had the opportunity to expand the kingdom, not just right in Fort Smith, but worldwide. But we won't be able to do that if we're still holding on to those things of the past. So tonight, my question for you is, are you ready to lose some weight? And I'm not talking about just from eating your quarantine snacks, because some of us, you know, I already know how that is right now. I'm still wearing, I'm wearing my yoga pants, and I said, you got to stop wearing these yoga pants, because they're going to have you thinking that you're still in shape, and you really ain't. But, we have to ask ourselves, are we ready to lose some weight? Because this is a bigger, the, you guys know the show Biggest Loser, right? This is our biggest loser moment right here, to shed some things. 
and we can shed all that stuff that is not like Christ. This is a season of shedding and a special season of grace from God. Because in this season of grace, he's going to prepare us for our next season. He's going to change our mindsets, but we have to make the decision because the decision is left to us. We have to make the decision to say, you know what, God, I'm just going to release it all and give it all back to you. This is our exit opportunity. And remember, after every exit, there's an opportunity to do something different. But the choice is yours. Am I going to reset restart or and start something new or am i going to continue to carry that old mindset that same perspective that same baggage that same baggage of depression that same baggage of comparison with me into my next season because i won't be able to enjoy the promise if i still have all that stuff with me just like on the plane the bag couldn't go to the next destination because of the weight it was carrying so you have to ask yourself like we asked ourselves at the airport do I want to try to hold on to this stuff and, and pay a heavy price? Or do I just want to release it and know that there's something better later? So again, this is our exit opportunity. And while we're in this, remember the wilderness is not a place of punishment, but it is a place of purity. God just wants to have your best. He has to have the best version of you before you can enter into his promises. Do we have any questions on Zoom? I, I thought I saw someone talking. No? Okay. Well, that concludes our study on tonight, you guys. Um, it was going to be brief. Um, we're normally used to having our study once a month, but we're going to try to do this every week. We're going to come back next week with six strategies on how to um, release those things after we have identified the opportunity the and that we've identified those things that we should release. I ask that you continue to keep every woman lifted in prayer. We do have a, a few special prayer requests on tonight that have been received. Um, we want to make sure we keep Sister Dickerson in prayer and keep our very own Sister Lori also in prayer and her family. And we want to continue to lift each other up every single day in prayer. Um, and continue to pray for our pastor and our church family. Now, if we could just bow our heads for prayer right now. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you on tonight for allowing us to come together to study your word once again, oh God. Now, God, I ask that you continue to bless our church family. Lord, continue to uplift every woman that is on this call, Lord, on our Facebook Live and on our Zoom, oh God. Continue to give them the strength that they need to uh, move forward each day. Now, in this special season of grace, God, I ask that you continue to grace them with a mindset of changing their perspective, Lord. Lord, I ask you continue to grace them with another opportunity to do it right all over again, oh God. Lord, we ask that all things be shed that are not like you, oh God. We ask that we remove those old mindsets, those old things, Lord, those uh, all those baggage, the weight that we're carrying. Because we know that we cannot enter through one door into another carrying everything that is weighing us down, oh God. We know that we cannot enter into your promise, oh God, with all that baggage, oh God. We know that with anything that we carry into the next season, that you will not be able to do what you need to do if we're still in the old season season God you said you told us yourself that you cannot do the next season without us so God on tonight we we just we are making the decision to release those things right now to you oh God we will give you the permission oh God to come and cleanse us God give us a renewed mind a renewed heart and a renewed spirit oh God now God I ask you continue to bless our pastor God give him the strength that he needs give him the knowledge that he needs Oh, Lord. Now, God, I ask you continue to bless our church family as we go through this situation right now. Although the doors are closed, the church is still open. We will continue to give you all the glory that you are so rightfully deserving of, oh, God. And while, while we're giving you the glory, we continue to reach out to those who do not know you, oh, God. We pray for those people on tonight who do not know you, God. We ask that their hearts and their minds are changed towards you, oh, God. In this season of grace, in this season of shedding, in this season of exit opportunities, oh God. Again, God, continue to bless us. We thank you, oh Lord. We adore you, Lord. We love you. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining me tonight for our session of um, exit opportunities. 
I will see you again on next Tuesday. Please be mindful that on tomorrow we have our church Bible study with our very own Pastor Cedric Carter. Meet us on the Facebook Live at 7 p.m. or you can dial into our conference line. Have a good night.